What's up guys, it's TJ. Welcome up here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. Today, we've got my boy, Fishing with Norm. Hello. We've got Trey over here somewhere. There's Hello. Trey. Today, gentlemen, we're competing in a 1v1v1 nastiest catfish bait challenge. Not only is the goal to catch the biggest catfish you possibly can, the other goal is to concoct the nastiest, stinkiest, smelliest, most disgusting catfish concoction you mm. could possibly create. There is a $20 budget per angler. There is a 10 minute time limit in here because obviously where the sun's going down, we can't be in Walmart all day long. And yeah. none of us know where anything is if you were to make your way to the grocery section. So we're definitely gonna have to do some, some looking around. So you got $20, 10 minutes, and we're gonna have one hour to compete in this 1v1v1. Whoever catches the biggest catfish wins will think of a punishment once we get on the water. But with that said, huge shout out to Carl's and MTB for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk about that a little bit later in this video, but before we make our way inside, make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, Norm's link down below, the new podcast also. You guys have been killing it. You guys have been loving the new podcast. Make sure you check that out. Hey! <laughs> yeah, make sure you guys check out the new podcast, link down below as well. You guys ready to go pick some nasty stuff? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gents, we're here in Walmart now in the fishing section. And I told you guys, nothing in the store is off limits. Uh, we've made our way to the fishing section, as, as we usually do. And I'm looking for something very specific. And I found it right here. These. Wait, the big ones. The nasty. The... Mm. Could you imagine mm. a loser has to eat one of these? Yeah, I... I, I I hope I don't lose if that's the mm, thing. I'll probably not because that would probably make you really sick. These fish yeah. have probably been dead for like over a year <laughs> and they've been packaged up good. So we're going to try this out. We're going to get hooks and weights and bobbers. Okay. That's not going to go against anybody's budget because we just need that for today's video. So this is uh, item number one on my list and they cost $4. Again, $20 budget per angler. The next thing I'm going to get is in the grocery section. Turkey bacon. Catfish love turkey bacon. We found that out from the uh, Thanksgiving challenge last year. That was kind of crazy. It's, I don't think anybody uses turkey bacon as their go-to catfish bait. I love how we just know it works out there and that's our go-to now is yeah. just turkey bacon. If I'm catfishing, if I'm ever catfishing, <laughs> turkey bacon is involved. For sure. Oh, that's great. five bucks by the way. So I am at, I think 10 right now. Wait, was there a limit? A $20 limit. Oh, I missed that whole part. There is a $20 budget per angler. Next item on the list, chicken breast. It's gonna be nasty to mix it all together. Chicken breast, turkey bacon, sardines of some sort that have probably been in that bag for over a year. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of my stuff. Um, I have a few ideas. Cause last time we went, I remember turkey bacon was key it is. to, it was just one weird thing we bought. Yep. And I think it was even, was it like a Thanksgiving challenge? It we was, did like it turkey was. bacon. Food, yeah. So are we allowed to have duplicates or no? Sure, yeah, why not? Okay, so the we're allowed to. You're just trying to make the nastiest bait possible. Nice. Okay, well, I dude, I've never tried the, uh, the just catfish bait. You know what I mean? That's very good. And I, yeah. I was over here looking and look at this, dude. I didn't know you could do this, but it's a chum and get em catfish bag. So we could try to throw this out near all of our bait. Try to get the catfish over to our side of the... Yeah. yeah. They'll smell it, because them whiskers, they be smelling everything. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so, so we yeah. could get... I mean, we could get this just for, $3? for the yeah. team. Yeah. Five bucks, five bucks. So you got 15 left. If and if it to. increases our odds of catching like a big catfish Dude, today, because it. we don't really know what's in the sinkhole. Like, there could be absolute giants. giants. We haven't it. fished there in over a year. Yeah, literally so. been forever. Yeah, I'm, I'm about it. Yeah, love to give sure. us the best odds, but I might get two just to try it. I've never fished or targeted catfish. Um, I might just try some like catfish shrimp and chicken blood little nuggets just so we can have yeah. some of those on there too but i'm gonna get some stuff in the grocery section as well okay. but i want like multiple rods lined up it's yeah. like a science experiment like which one works the best yes. you know what i mean i like it i dig it is this is this cheating though or no, is this not cool? at all okay, dude. okay. No, no, no. Put this on there. i mean you're gonna you're gonna we're gonna create we're gonna get little bags and yeah. mix all of our bait together okay and then be able to you know so no that's not cheating at all no, no it's good okay. i like the i like the odds in your selection there you go with oscar meyer or you go with the sam's choice Oscar Meyer, the name brand. Yeah. You know, I'll hit it with the the unnamed brand. I'll okay. go with the Sam's Choice. I like it. And I save 30 cents. You do. It's so. probably made in the same factory, just with a different logo on it. Exactly. So we'll see. But we'll see. We'll see if Sam's or uh, the old Oscar Meyer. Pulls I'm excited to see this w. concoction because yours by far, so far, looks the yeah. worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, catfish bait, turkey bacon, and who knows? I, I have zero plan. I'm just going to go and. That's grab the whatever. best kind of plan, is no plan. I don't know if that's true. I don't even know if I need anything else, honestly. Are you? If you're good with that, you don't have to spend your budget if you don't want to. Yeah, it's completely I don't, up to you. 
Dude, I don't think I want to do something just to be like unique. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I'm good. I don't want to get my hands like disgusting and have it all over my reels and stuff. Yeah, and, I definitely. You know, accidentally agree with that. wipe my face and something. You know, what would be get, smart like, of us to do. Guy. Buy a pack of gloves while we mix our. Yeah, or maybe like some like wipes, some hand wipes to yeah, clean gloves, our hands. Gloves and wipes. Gloves and yeah. wipes. It is. I know that's the lamest thing that I could probably say on a video, and I'm probably getting roasted right now. But that's uh, all right. if they roast us, yeah, I just don't want to get all. Because I want to go bass fishing too. So. Yeah. You got, there's a lot of gear exchange going on and everything. Yeah, so I'm not trying to get myself like raw chicken and turkey bacon. Yeah, and I do this on your, all the time. Yeah. I don't want to get raw. Meat raw in my chicken eye. in your eye. Fun not fact today, at least. Is definitely not good. Trey's up next. Let's see what you got, Trey. I'm going to get some stinky boys. Ooh. I've seen, look what I've seen lingering down here. Ooh, crawfish. crawfish. Oh, that's Dude, you might even catch a bass on that. There's giant bass in here, too. Those are, uh, I didn't even know they sold them like that. Oh, they're soft. I've never felt soft crawfish before. They're oh, literally yeah, they're soft. Squishy. I wonder how old these things are. Very. They got uh, them very old. Dude, I can smell this through the bag. Yeah, this gonna is be... going to attract some fish. Can you smell us from here, Trey? You have like a little sniff. <laughs> <laughs> it's, dude, it's terrible. Wow. That's yeah. That's gonna be nasty. But maybe that will definitely increase our odds. I, th I think so. That's why I want to get yeah, it. it yes. Just like bring them all over. Yes, I'm about it. All right, deal. All right, what else you getting from this Alfred? I think this might be it. That might be it. Yeah, all right. that might be it. I'm getting the nastiest food of all time. And if you like these, just get out my face because you're not real. What are you kidding? I'm gonna get about three cans of potted meat, and I'm gonna look over here and just see if there's any more ideas that I could really scheme up. Um, you know, I'm a professional kitty caller, and uh, they like meat. Gonna grab some lemon pepper pink salmon. Ooh. The lemon pepper stepper. Lemon pepper stepper. And then I'm also gonna grab some premium white chunk chicken breast. I like it. Today's video, like I said, is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box and Shop Carl's. Uh, in a mystery tackle box, if you're not familiar with this, what this is is a monthly subscription box full of baits that you get to your front door once every single month. And uh, in my personal opinion, I love these things. I've been with Mystery Tackle Box literally for years. If you go back on the channel, you'll, I mean, it's just, they're that good. But uh, these baits that you're gonna get in this box, it's just a variety of a whole bunch of stuff. Some stuff you may have fished before, some stuff you may not have. The stuff you may not have, it will force you to fish with that kind of stuff, which in turn, in my belief, in my opinion, will make you a better angler. So you get things like this, top water some hooks some baits a bunch of baits a bunch of stickers hooks the dibble magazine all that other good stuff mystery tackle box you could use code yakpack on mtbfish.com and save ten dollars on your first box now with shop carl's they've got something really awesome going on right now it's a pre-sale for the brand new guggen elite series rods so these right here are the brand new guggen elite series rods and they're available right now on shop carl's for pre-sale if you order now they'll ship in november because they're still doing their final tweaks and all that stuff and then uh you know shipping from the manufacturer and all that good stuff but uh i'm telling you guys you put one of these rods in your hands and it's it's i hate the phrase game changer but like this is probably one of, if not the absolute favorite thing from Guggen that they have, uh, they've ever dropped in exclusively on Carl's right now. You can uh, pre-order one of these bad boys. So head over to mtbfish.com and use code YAKPACK, like I said, to save $10 on your first box. Or if you're uh, if you're head of the shop, Carl's, pre-order one of these rods, code YAKPACK10, both popping up on the screen right now. Also, both linked and tagged down in the description below. The way I said, let's get back to the video. All right, Trey, here's your bag. Norm. Here's uh, your bag. Thank you. Here's my bag. So the goal is, mm -hmm. the goal is to concoct every single <laughs> thing that you have uh, purchased today at Walmart. The okay. goal is we want to mush all of it together, try to keep a hard ball of something, and then fish from there. Biggest catfish wins. We've got one hour, and I'm gonna start the uh, one hour, one second. Trey, I think you just put my weight on here. It's just sliding freely. Yeah, I definitely did. All right, Tom nice starts. Deal. So the catfish mm. doesn't pick up your bait and hold it weight. like slide onto the hook. Huh? Hold it like do this. All right, boys. I don't know. We've got one hour. <laughs> Once we concoct our baits, we've got one hour. We've got one hour. Tom starts now. Go. <clears throat> All right. Gloves. Dude, I'm going to start. 
with the magic bait dinner charm, baby. I'm gonna go lay it out for all the boys. There you go, perfect. Look at team player you are. I know. Glove for you? Yes, yeah, definitely yeah. gloves. And people are gonna be like, why are you guys wearing gloves? Well, because we have bass rods and other stuff and we're just trying to not be as disgusting as possible. Guys, there's probably like, you're probably supposed to chum with like a boat or something, but I'm just gonna kinda yeet this out there, see what happens. Okay, that kinda worked maybe. Maybe I'll give us a little chum over. I don't want to chum in too many different places. Perfect, that works perfect. I'm gonna let you do, I'm gonna grab my baits and I'm gonna let you do your thing on your side. Water is chummed. Magic shrimp and chicken blood and my Sam's Choice dollar value turkey bacon. You guys don't know turkey bacon, not only for turkey catfish, it's actually healthier first. for you to eat turkey bacon. Mm, it smells than regular good bacon right too. I wonder if this is good. Definitely raw. not, but probably not the best only 45 idea calories to a slice, baby. Raw trying meat. To I mean, I guess figure. you probably could. Uh, at some point in time, there are some people to, to eat raw meat, so we got here some chicken. <clears throat> Bro, people actually oh. eat this. Dude, I never get uh, why people decide oh. to eat them. There's so many other foods on earth. Bro, why would you do that to yourself? That's so disgusting. I think everybody who does that is just trying to get attention, man. There's no way they actually enjoy it. No, there's no way. It's just goop. Ugh. A little bit of chicken. Raw chicken, too. Oh, I'm not really excited to smell this at all. This is going to be terrible. Look at all the juices flowing in there. Oh, it's so bad, dude. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, my gosh, it's so bad. We're going to put, like, two of these little things, two of these little creatures in there all the juice in there oh yeah all that juice is flowing oh yeah we'll put a couple more in there oh norm look at this this looks like cat this, this looks, looks like, like throw up dude oh dude what did you even get lemon pepper pink salmon <laughs> which i don't even remember you grabbing that. i don't either dude like oh my god all right look at this we got a pink salmon smoothie take a bite you want a bite i think dude i think i'll pass you think you'll pass i think i'll pass too Oh, hook in my fingers. Dude, look at what you've done with this late thread. you see what you did? Uh, yeah, I did that so I could beat you in this challenge. I right, just right. really wanted you to retie and uh, waste your hour rigging up. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, the chicken's so mushy now and everything. Okay. That is going to be some stinky, nasty catfish bait, boys. All right, let's get rigged up and get in the water. That's so gross. Oh, God. I smell yours from here, Trey. <sighs> Are you supposed to wet these things first? Is there instructions? Oh, God, Trey. Somebody's going to throw up on this challenge. Somebody's throwing up. Smell it. Smell them. Dude, oh I, I want to say mine smells the worst. No way. There's a little... Oh, these are, God, that stinks so God, bad, mine Trey. It smells like the combination of cow poop and cat treats. Oh, my God. All right, I got my bait, baby. There we go. I'm gonna be first in the water, boys. Sorry about it. Oh, I got some on me. All right, guys. Well, I chummed the water out here, so I'm just gonna give it a little cast. This weight thing might be a problem. Trey might have done me in. Trey, you are so wrong for that dog. White premium chicken breast. I feel like this is the nat. This is the least nasty of everything that we're getting. All right, guys. Well, mine's set up in the water. I literally just gave it a little flick because my weight just slides freely up and down. I don't want the weight to be too close, so I was trying to not cast my bait too far. Chummed up a little bit right here. So we'll see if we get bit. I'm gonna loosen that drag up all the way. Slide this glove off. See what we happens. Don't need that no more. We'll leave this. We'll zip this back up real quick. So no bugs get in it. Okay, it's time to get to fishing. We're gonna we're gonna send this stinky boy down first. And yeah, Trey, I would say just kind of cast like straight out right there. Out. About like that. Yeah. 
gonna sit that right there right on this tree just like that tom check boys we got 40 minutes left and guys while we are waiting on our catfish bait to go down we do a little bit of bass fishing because there is some giant bass in here there's been 10 pounders caught out of here like years ago i haven't fished out here in over a year so we'll see i'm gonna try to stand kind of close to my rod and reel just in case something happens Let's see if we can't catch a bass while we're waiting Oh, oh my gosh, dude. I had him. Dude, look, he bit my tail off. Dang it. Why is it so slack? Oh, I got one. Got him. There we go. We're on, baby. Oh, it's a baby, Yakpak, but I got one. Dude, my drag slipped so hard. Thank goodness. That might have been why I missed that other one. Dude, look at how tiny that is. Should we tie him on his catfish, Pete? Live line bass? I'm kidding, guys. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Don't do that. Dude, I've never caught a fish this small out of here. I think they must have stocked it with little babies. It's it's really weird. I've seen a lot of baby bass swimming. That's good, though. Thanks. Well, guys, in the meantime, I mean, it counts for nothing for the video, but or for the challenge, you know, we're still all tied. But if it comes down to a tiebreaker and somebody has a little bass. Oh, dang, Trey, good one. <laughs> Stick. Stick. Dude, watch where you're swinging that clutch, man. I have a future. <laughs> yeah, keep an eye on our rods. We're going to make a walk. Okay. Try to catch some fishies. Huh? You boys Thank you. I hate this left handed combo. Oh, I'm getting bit. Get him Holy, dude, I don't get it. My tail's gone again, dude. Oh, you just got bit. No, he bit my line. Oh, he's got me, he's got my bait now. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, I'm literally about to go insane. We need a little Ned rig or something, dude. There's no way there's this many fish on this grass line. We can't catch one of them. This is getting frustrating. The same lure, too. They're biting our tails off, man. Uh, it's making me think if they're like warm mouth or something. Oh, there's one. Get him. Got him. There we go. Oh, look at how baby. Dude, this got to be what it is, dude. This has to be why we keep missing them. Look at how baby that is. Dude, why is there so many small fish in here? Was there just like a spawn and they're all... I'm so confused. Is that this year's fish you think, Norm? Dude, I don't know what's going on. I'd never caught fish this small out of here. I just threw him back like that, guys. My bad. I don't know why I did that. Dude, there's big ones in here. That's the thing. Oh, I got one. You saw that? What in the world, man? I'm going to try to get us over here. I just don't know where to walk. All right, it's been a hot minute. I'm about to change my baits up real quick. And oh, try to sling some of that turkey bacon. Thing is, it's already got so freaking hot, it's hard to stay on the hook. Ooh, there's spiders all over it. Ooh. We have turkey bacon, a shiner head, and chicken. If this doesn't get eaten, I don't know what will. Dude, these wampus cats in here might get me. I don't know. Oh, Norm, we're going in the jungle. Dude, I used to this all the time. I don't know why I'm so scared now. I've never done this in my life. I'm terrified. Now I just have something to die for. Why? Dude, oh my God. Put me on the deck of a bass boat, please. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't step there, Trey. That's a hole. I about lost my ankle. Why did we do this? Oh. Now you got soggy feet. Yeah. 
definitely gonna have some fresh athletes split after that. That's what you want. Oh, my feet are so wet. Oh, I'm so slack right now. What's going on? You got yep. one, you got one, you got one. Yes, Norm, no! I am so close to jumping off a bridge with water beneath it so I can survive. Oh my! Got what one. was. Got one. Yeah! Yeah, he's chunky, Yak Pack. Yo! Catfish challenge turned bass slam. That's right, baby. What was it, 31 pounds, the record of the Bassmaster Classic? Watch out, baby. Norm and Trey are over here slinging them. We're on a bag right now. <laughs> Trey, a few years ago when we did that fish rescue, yeah. we were five, six at a time reeling in bass. No, all okay. like five, six up on like, somebody have a four pounder, I'd be like, oh, a seven. Dude, it was crazy. You just throw the four back to die and you catch the seven. <laughs> Dude, it was like nuts. And then, so, and then there's tons of people who caught tens. Oh yeah, there she goes. Yeah. What the frick? Trey, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go baby on baby, Trey. Baby? Can you toss me a speedy? Yeah. I would be, I'm angry too. I've missed like 10 fish and broke off. Watch this, you ready? I'm gonna get bit. Are you? Yep. All right, bet. Get ready. Yep. Yes, Got there we go. What? Oh, no. That's Why? it. That's it. Come on, water moccasin, bite me. Had enough. Dang, dude. I don't know what has happened to this farm, but it has done a complete 180 from the last time I was here two years ago. Trey, you trying to go waiting? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. We're walking through a swamp right now with Fisher and Norm. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh no! Bro, is there alligators in here? Oh! Oh, I thought that was a snake! Trey, stop that! Oh! Oh, Norm, I'm sinking my shoe. No! I'm leaving you behind, Trey. Uh oh, this is actually bad. My boy is stuck. Yeah, this is actually not good. Oh, we're free. <laughs> Check your legs for leeches, Trey. For leechy boys? Yeah, I've got Dude, we just walked through a swamp. <laughs> no. Why did you do that? Oh, the rock. Oh, the hook keeper got me. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought you did that hey, on No, I didn't. <laughs> I love how there's still a right handed retriever over there and you just picked up the left handed. Yeah. You could have tied on that to the right handed. I could have, but that would have just been too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, this is tragic. Yeah, on a scale of one to 10, how mad would you be if I totaled your reel? Huh? Tree line it? Yeah. I'm glad, cause it, uh, it's not, uh, not looking good. We'll cut our losses on that one, boys. Mission failed successfully. But there was a mission completed successfully for another video. Don't want to show you guys too much. It's a little sneak peek. But if you know, you know what's going on with that whole thing. But uh, yeah, we set out to do a 1v1v1 catfishing challenge with the nastiest bait possible. World's worst cat fisherman. I, I, like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Norm literally carried this video. He was the only one able to catch a fish. Uh, and granted, they were all tiny bass. Norm and I have both been there at the same time, like a year or two ago. And caught just 
stud catfish, stud gar, stud largemouth. And then we go to film that video that day and it is what it is. So apologies for that. Hope you guys still enjoyed. It was, I thought it was still pretty funny because Norman Trey took off through a swamp in the woods and that's the jungle. And anyways, yeah, that was cool. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, we're, we've got that going on. Also, probably going to bring a, a new video editor on soon. And we'll give you guys an update with the whole land situation here soon. But anyways, love you guys. Catch you on the next venture. Peace.